Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number. We're Tableau education and consulting experts. And today we're going to take a look at swapping various kinds of fields in your Tableau workbooks with uh, parameters. So we're going to look at three different ways that you can use a parameter to swap fields. The first kind of field that we're going to swap is a measure. So instead of looking at total cost right now, we can look at the balance by hospital. The second kind of field we're going to look at is a dimension. So we're looking at hospital names, but what about looking at patients? So we can swap that out nicely. And the third one that we're going to look at is using a sort uh, or changing the way that our data is sorted. So here we're going to sort by balance and over here we're sorting by total cost. So those are the three examples that we're going to dive into today. Uh, and I'm just going to use Sample Superstore for our practice. You should have it baked into your copy of Tableau, so feel free to follow along uh, and we'll, we'll get going. So currently we're looking at sales by subcategory, but if I wanted to swap out that sum of sales with sum of profit, perhaps, how would I do that without just manually dragging profit onto the column shelf each time? How do I let my end user choose? Well, I'm going to set up a parameter to do that. Now, the parameter, uh, I'm just going to call this swap a measure parameter, <laughs> really creative. I'm going to change my data type to a string because the inputs that I'm going to give to this parameter are going to be defined by me and limited. So I only want you to be able to choose sales or profit, you know, something like that. And if we hit OK, let's show this parameter. Let me just drag this up a little bit. We can see what's going on. Okay. And now nothing happens. Why? Because a parameter is just a variable that takes the place of a constant. A parameter doesn't do anything in and of itself. It's only effective when you hook it up to where a constant should be. So in our case, we need to assign some kind of action to our parameter. We need to let Tableau know when you see these various values in the parameter, this is what you should do. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to call this our swap a measure field. I'm going to use the case function, which basically says in the case of, um, where do we have this swap a measure? In the case of our swap a measure parameter, when you see the sales value in the parameter, then show me the sales field. And when you see the profit value in the parameter, then show me the profit field. So by doing this, we've we've kind of lined up uh, and profit. We've lined up what our parameter is going to say with something that Tableau can actually do. So let's hit OK, and now we're going to put this swap a measure field on top of the sum of profit field. I just want to replace it, and now this suddenly has an action, and that works, which is awesome. So I just want to flag one thing here, which might be that when you're in a workbook uh, of your own and you're using the swap a measure parameter, you might run into this error. So let me edit this and I want to add in our profit ratio field. Uh, and I'm trying to get Tableau to throw up a really common error in this case. So I'm going to say when profit ratio then profit ratio and <laughs> look at that then. And now it looks fine, but Tableau is saying this is not okay. So we need to work out what's going on. And the error is it says you can't mix aggregate and non-aggregate comparisons or results in case expressions. And that's actually true across the board for Tableau functions and, and calculations. Our, our, our fields need to be aggregated or not aggregated, but we can't have this combination of both. But looking at our calculation, we might say, well, what exactly is the problem? Because sales, profit and profit ratio are all not aggregated and there shouldn't be anything going on. So here's the thing. When I click on profit ratio, I can see the underlying calculation that's going on. Profit ratio is a calculated field in Sample Superstore. And it's quite simple. It's just the sum of profit divided by the sum of sales. So can you see how profit ratio is actually aggregated? This is just a calculated field that's taking sum of profit, dividing it by the sum of sales, 
uh, giving us actually an aggregated expression in profit ratio, but sales and profit are not. So if you do run into this, uh, this error, take a look for that, you know, click on some of those fields, profit ratio, profit, you know, whatever that might be, see what if there's anything going on underneath. And if there is, and you do have some aggregated fields and some non aggregated fields, just make sure that the fields that aren't aggregated are aggregated. So in this case, I'm just assigning an aggregation to sales and profit. You're saying, we're gonna look at the, the sum of sales and the sum of profit, and then we've got profit ratio. Tableau's happy with this. We now hit okay, but we've got an error here. It's red. Why? Because do you see how this, this uh, calculated field is aggregated? But our one is not gonna be. So let me just drag this off and put our swap a measure up here onto columns again. And now it says ag swap a measure. So if you've ever seen that ag before uh, a, a field and you don't know exactly what it means, it just means that the underlying field is already aggregated. So you don't get to choose what aggregation uh, you want to see it with uh, by hitting the drop down. If you want to change the aggregation, we'd have to go back into our calculated field and assign instead of sum, we'd have to put average, you know, something like that. Okay, and now this works. Sales, profit, profit ratio. So that's awesome. That's swapping a measure with a parameter. The second thing we're gonna do is swap a dimension. So I'm gonna make, uh, what about making like a tree map or something? So if I put subcategory, I'm gonna change my mark type to square. I'm gonna put subcategory on detail and I'm gonna put sales on color. I mean, not on color, on size like this. And Tableau gives me this, this tree map. Okay, so now I wanna swap between subcategory and state, for instance, how do we do that? So it's actually in a very similar way to the one that we've just done. So I'm gonna create another parameter and I'm gonna call this swap a dimension. Uh, again, I'm changing my data type to string. I'm gonna write out a list of all this, the dimensions that I want to use. So subcategory and state, that's perfect. Let's hit okay. Let's show this parameter. Um, and just a reminder, this is still gonna do nothing because we actually have to hook it up to a calculated field or to some kind of constant. So let's do that. Create a calculated field, swap a dimension, and we're gonna use the case function again. So in the case of uh, the swap a dimension parameter, when you see um, now we've just got to remember what we wrote. When you see subcategory, then show me the subcategory field. And when you see uh, the state string, right, then show me the state field end. So now again, we've linked up our parameter with some action that Tableau can, can, can do, can actually carry out. Now, the important part is always to sub out the dimension that you have already with your new calculated field. And so now that's changing, that's awesome. So now I'm just gonna hold down my command key. If you're on Windows, it's hold down control and drag these fields over onto labels just so that we can see what's going on and we can update that. Cool, that's awesome. We're gonna look at our last example, which is our dynamic sorting field. Um, and where on earth is this useful? Well, let me show you this example. So customer name and sales. Let's perform a descending sort. I wanna color this based on profit just so we can see exactly what's going on with profit because I would like to sort these bars kind of by a secondary sort. So I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna right click on customer name, go to sort, choose the profit field and now we can see that although our bars are that represent the sum of sales, we've sorted it by the relevant sum of profit, which is fantastic. But here's the thing, you now put this into a dashboard, someone plays around with the sort order, changes it to sum of sales, and now you can never get it back to sum of profit. So what do we do? Well, there's kind of a workaround uh, to make sure that the sort order is optional to our end user, but also so that we can kind of determine what it is. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a parameter and I'm going to call this sort by field or, you know, something like that. Um, 
I always put parameter in my parameter names. Let's choose a string and we're gonna do the same thing. So either we can sort by profit or by sales. Um, okay, perfect, that's fine. Let's show this parameter. So profit and sales. Okay, and now, now here's where we're gonna work things around a little bit. Let's create our calculated field and I'm gonna call this sort by. Uh, and I'm, I'm, instead of using the case function, I'm just gonna use an if statement. So I'm gonna say, if the sort by field parameter equals sales, then uh, here's, okay, I'm gonna show you one example first and then we'll tweak it. Then give me the sum of sales, uh, else if the sort by field parameter equals profit, then sum of profit, end. Okay, cool. Now, if we make this, I wanna make this discrete. Discrete because I want, I want it to generate a heading for me, right? Okay, so this, what is this doing now? It's kind of working, like it's changing something, but it's not really working. And the problem is, once we start using our own, uh, you know, our own sorting buttons in our dashboard, it undoes all the hard work that we've done. So here's the workaround that we're going to use. Instead of just saying sort by sum of sales and sum of profit, we're actually gonna add in a little table calculation. We're gonna say sort by the rank sum of sales and then sort by the rank sum of profit. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna mean that, yeah, that's fine. But what that's gonna mean is that instead of just sorting by the value of sum of sales, we're now forcing Tableau to rank everything like this, one all the way through to the end, and we can sub that out. And that's awesome. Maybe we don't really wanna see this column though. So we can just hit the drop down and uncheck show header. And now it looks like you're just choosing a really cool sort order. So those are three ways of using a parameter to swap a dimension in our Tableau worksheets. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, if it is, leave a little like or a comment. Uh, we'd love to, to hear your feedback. If you've got some thoughts or points, leave that in the comments down below. Uh, we love hearing what you guys think about Tableau. And until next time, uh, all the best.